Hi students, hope everyone is fine and safe. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all to my new video. And today's video is about another interesting topic in unit 4, basic processing unit. We are going to see how to fetch a word and store a word from the memory. Right, that is, so far we are seeing the fundamental concept of the processor. Okay, we have already seen how the register transfer takes place inside the processor. And we have already seen how ALE operation takes place inside the processor. Now we are going to see how the processor fetch a word and as well as store a word from the memory. Right. So it is very important topic. Right. So we will start with first fetching a word from the memory. Right. From the name itself we can understand fetching a word from memory in the sense. Right. We are going to get some information from the memory. Right. Before explaining this particular diagram. Right. We already know the basic operation of the processor, right? How the instruction is executed in the processor, correct? We know that there is something called fetch phase and there is something called execution phase, right? That is, you know that you have something called MAR, memory address register, and there is something called MDR, memory data register, correct? And this is processor, for example, right? And whenever you want to execute some instruction, say for example, you have an instruction like add R3, R1, something like this. Okay. If you want to execute this particular instruction, what the processor will do? The processor will first will first get this information from the memory. Correct? Right. That is, it will get the information. I say it as information, right? I, I call it as information. That's because. I call it as information, right? We know that in computer memory, right, all the instructions and data, everything will be stay saved in the memory, right? So whenever the processor needs any particular information, it has to fetch from the memory, right? So for example, if this is the instruction, right? First thing what it has to do is it has to fetch this instruction, complete instruction, add R3, comma R1. The complete instruction must reach the processor. So what it will do is the processor will inform the memory address register. How it will inform? It will give the address information of this particular instruction. Correct? Because in memory, it will be saved with address. Correct? And that particular address is linked with memory address register. Right? And similarly, data is registered with memory data register. Correct? Right? So now the processor, what it will do is it will send the address information of this particular instruction to the memory, to the MAR, correct? And it initiates the read cycle. It initiates the read cycle. Understand very carefully, okay? It initiates the read cycle, right? And now what happens? The MAR, after receiving the read cycle, right? At the end of the read cycle, it will transfer that instruction to MDR, correct? It will transfer this instruction to the MDR. And from MDR, it will reach to IR, each to IR. We have already seen this. This is the basic operational concepts. Correct? And once it reaches the IR, right, the fetch phase is stopped, right? And then execution phase will start. That is, whatever instruction which is in the IR, IR is nothing but instruction register. We know this, correct? Right? And instruction register in the sense, it will have the current information which is executed, right? So, whatever information which is here in IR, it will be executed. Right, the current instruction, you will have information about the current instruction, right? And in single bus architecture, you have seen the IR is connected with instruction decoder, right? So whatever information which is in IR, it will be decoded and then the execution will start, correct? That is, after this particular instruction, add R3, R1 reaches the instruction IR, the execution will start. Right, and once again while executing the processor, now it will understand there is something called add operation. So, this information has to be given to ALU, right? And also, we need a data of R3, we need a data of R1. Once again, it will get the data from the memory and it will give it to the ALU. This is what we have seen so far, correct? Right, so for executing any particular instruction, right, the first thing is it has fetched that instruction from the memory. And then it has to fetch the data from the memory and then it has to execute. Clear so far? 
right we already know this right so unit 4 you before studying unit 4 you have to be well versed in unit 2 right that is the basic concepts we are just seeing how the processor works right we already seen what is the basic operation in unit 2 here what we are doing is we are seeing how the processor executes all those instructions all those functions correct right okay now overall you know that right now overall with all this basic operation you know that there is something called mar from which the data will be sent to mdr right and then through processor it reaches the ir this is the basic information correct so here the mdr is very very important correct because whatever information which is which is needed for the processor after the read cycle is initiated it is sent to the MDR, memory data register. Only from memory data register, it sends to the IR. Correct? Clear? Right. So, we have already seen in single bus architecture, that is in single bus architecture, you would have seen this like a single bus, which is connected with a lot of registers, right? Lot of registers and you can see the MAR and MDR. Correct? If you have not, not watched the single bus organization video, First, go and watch the single bus organization video and then come to this video so that you can understand very clearly. Okay. And from this single bus organization, you know that the MAR has only single input, right? Only single input and single output, right? That is, it is connected with the internal bus and connected with the external bus. Okay. From the input bus, from the internal bus, gets the input and give it to the external bus, right? Whereas in MDR, Right. What is MDR? MDR is memory data register. Memory data register has two inputs and two outputs. Look at that diagram. You will understand. Okay. So, you have two inputs and two outputs. Why? Because, why? Because the MDR, that is, in order to execute the instruction, right, the processor will get the information from the external bus, correct, from the memory, right. And similarly, whenever after the execution, after performing the addition operation, the processor has to store the information, the result in the memory, right? Once again, what it will do? Now the processor will send the information to the memory, so it will be saved, correct? So it is also done through MDR. That is called as write cycle. Hope you clear, right? From read cycle, the processor will read the information from the memory. From write cycle, it will store the result in the memory, right? And that is why MDR is capable of receiving and sending information from both the buses. That is why it has two inputs and two outputs. Clear? Now, we will see about MDR, right? Now, you understand what is MAR on MDR in depth, right? MDR, as I said, you have two inputs and two outputs, right? You can see here, two inputs, right? And two outputs, correct? Right? So, you can see here it has four control functions. That is, you can see here it is connected to the internal bus and also it is connected to the external memory bus. Okay. And if you take this as MDR, it has four control functions. Right. Two for controlling the internal bus and two for controlling the external bus. Right. You can very clearly understand it is, it is clear, it is mentioned as, you can see here it is mentioned as MDR out, MDR out. Right. And this MDR in, right? That is, it, this connects this two control. This two control signals is for internal bus, for internal bus. Okay. And similarly, this is MDR out E. Just the E is added here. MDR out E. This is just MDR out. This is MDR E. Right? You can see here. This is MDR in E. That is, it connects the external bus. Right? What what is that? You already seen how the register works. Correct? You, you, there are, you, for every register, there is a control signals, correct? You have already seen in last video, right? Similarly here, you have two control signals for, for internal bus and two control signals for external bus, right? Which means whenever MDR is set, MDR out is equal to 1, the data from the MDR will be sent to this internal bus, right? And whenever MDR in is equal to 1, the data from the internal bus is sent to the MDR, clear? Right, similarly here, Whenever MDR out E is equal to 1, that is enabled, then the data from MDR is sent to the external bus, right? Similarly, when MDR input, input E is equal to 1, 
the from external bus it sends the data to the MDR. Clear? Right. This is called fetching a word from the memory. This is how the fetching operation takes place. Right. So the very important function is right. The processor first, first initiate, first inform the MAR. Right. First inform the MAR about the address location, what it is needed. Right. And initiates the read cycle. Okay. And then from MAR, it is sent to the MDR. Correct? Right. And MDR, now if it wants to transfer to the internal bus, it can transfer. If it wants to transfer to the external bus, it can transfer. Right? And you have to understand when it is transferred to internal bus, from internal bus, you can transfer to any register you want, R2, R3, or any register you want, you can transfer it. Correct? Thank you, students. Thank you for watching. Kandipa in the video, you will be useful. Subscribe, passionate professor, and keep learning. Thank you very much.